Hey there, tech aficionados. It's your favorite tech professor, Big Papa Code. Today, we're diving into the universe of programming paradigms. These are the stylistic approaches to coding that you absolutely must know. The more paradigms you understand, the more versatile you'll be. Have you ever wondered why some pieces of code seem like self-contained worlds while others resemble a well-oiled machine? Keep listening and I'll tell you why. Think of a car. It has properties like color and model and abilities like accelerating and braking. In object-oriented programming, we encapsulate these properties and abilities into a neat package known as an object. So in OOP, each object is like its own car, equipped with attributes and methods and ready to interact with other objects on the road. Here are some pros and cons. Reusability is a big one. You can use the same car blueprint in multiple projects. Maintainability is another. It's easy to change one car's tires without affecting the entire fleet. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Complexity can become an issue. Too many cars on the road can cause a traffic jam in your code. And don't forget about performance. Cars need fuel. Objects need memory, which can slow things down. Next, imagine a factory assembly line. Each worker does one job and passes the item down the line. In functional programming, functions do specific jobs and can send their results to other functions for further processing. So each function in your code is like a factory worker, skilled at one specific job and working in harmony with others. Let's talk pros and cons again. The predictability of output solely depending on input is like a well-trained factory worker. Testability is another pro. It's easy to check if each worker is doing their job right. On the downside, the learning curve can be steep. Assembly lines can be complex to understand at first, and debugging can be tough. If one worker messes up, tracking down the error can be a challenge. Picture a GPS now. You set the destination and it figures out the best route for you. In declarative programming, you tell the system what you want, not how to do it, and it figures out the rest. Just like you trust your GPS to find the best route, you trust your declarative code to find the best way to accomplish your goal. Pros and cons, you ask? Readability is a clear advantage. It's as easy to read as a GPS screen, and it usually requires less code because the GPS figures out the path, not you. However, there are cons. You have less control over performance optimizations, and when things go wrong, it's often harder to figure out why. Last but not least, think about making a sandwich. You follow each step in a specific order to assemble your masterpiece. Procedural programming is similar. You define a series of steps that the computer follows to achieve a particular outcome. So creating a program in procedural programming is like meticulously layering each ingredient to make the perfect sandwich. Pros? Simplicity is a given. Follow the recipe and you get a sandwich. No surprises. You also have more control over what your program does. But for the cons, scalability can be an issue. Complex applications would require a very long and convoluted recipe. And reusability is limited. Sandwich recipes don't easily convert to soup recipes. And there you have it. Each programming paradigm is a unique approach to problem solving and coding. Objects are like cars in OOP, each with their own specifications. Functions are like workers on an assembly line in functional programming. Your code is the GPS in declarative programming, figuring out the how. And in procedural programming, your code is a sandwich recipe, simple and ordered. Being familiar with these paradigms is like having multiple sets of tools in your coding toolbox. It makes you more adaptable, and it empowers you to solve problems in the most effective way possible. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with your fellow technology enthusiasts. Until next time, my friends, keep those brackets in line and may your code be ever bug free. P.S. Don't forget to check out me and my friends on the Deeper Than Code podcast available on YouTube and Spotify. Peace.